Hello friends, welcome back. Glad to see you for another circle time. Let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> All right, friends. Do you remember what month we are in? March, very good. We are in the month of March. And March is in what season? Spring, that's right. The flowers are growing. The birds are out and chirping. It's getting warmer, the days are getting longer. So that's right, we are in the month of March and March is in the season of spring. Today's day of the week is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday and tomorrow will be Saturday. Let's sing our song together. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then comes Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, friends, let's count our numbers to see what today's date is. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Do you know what number comes after 26? 27. 27 is 27. Good work, friends. Now let's put it all together. So today's day of the week is Friday, the month of the year is March, and today's date is the 27th, Friday, March 27. Thank you so much for helping me with calendar today. On to weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All right, friends. Is the weather outside your window cold? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it's too cold. Is the weather outside your window windy? Do you see the trees swaying and blowing in the wind? partly cloudy. Is it a little sun, a little clouds? Maybe the sun keeps hiding behind the clouds. That's the weather in my outside my window. So check outside your window and check what your weather is for today. <laughs> All right, friends. Thank you for helping me with calendar and weather. <clears throat> now we're moving on to our last day of Letter U. And letter U makes the sound uh. Say it with me. Uh. Good work, friends. Now listen as I review our poem and our picture words. Under his umbrella, Uncle Upton starts to frown. Say the sound with me. Uh, uh, uh. Uh-oh. It's upside down. Let's review our picture words. Umbrella, uniforms, underwear, umpire. Now, I want friends to practice writing letter U at home. You got a packet with your ABC handwriting pages. So I want you to practice writing those letter U's, those uppercase U's, or big U's, you're going to start up here at the top and you're just going to squeeze it down and back up, okay? And the same thing with little U or lowercase U, except you give it a little tail there on the end. So you're going to start here at the top, go down, squeeze it up and back down to give it that little tail, okay? So make sure you're practicing your handwriting at home. All right, my friends, your letter U movements. I want you to 
safely find something to go under. It can be under a chair. It can be under a blanket or under a pillow, but find something to go under. Okay, now come back. <laughs> and then your second letter U movement is to look upside down. So some friends may want to bend over and look upside down through your legs. You, if you are flexible enough, you can do a back bend or a bridge and look upside down that way or safely hang upside down on a sturdy chair or sofa, but look upside down. <laughs> All right, friends, good work. All right, so now we are going to, let's do movement to music first and then we'll end with our story, okay? So I want you to find some space to freely be able to move your bodies and be able to stretch and bend without knocking anyone or anything over, okay? Let's get started. Thank you so much for moving your bodies around with me today. All right, we are going to get into our story. And I want you to find a comfortable place to sit, a comfy chair, or it can be on the floor, your choice. You can sit on your bottom crisscross applesauce, or sit in a chair or sofa, or snuggle up, snuggle up with your grown-up, your choice. And looking at the cover, what do you think we're gonna read about today? Are we going to read about an elephant? No. Are we going to read about a monkey? No. No again. We are going to read about a mystical, magical creature called a unicorn. U is for unicorn. All right, my friends, I'll pull up my chair and move a little closer. 
and we'll get started. This story is called Unicorn Thinks He's Pretty Great and it is by Bob Shea. Things are a lot different around here since that unicorn moved in. I thought I was pretty cool when I rode my bike to school. Until that show off went flying by. Or the time I made marshmallow squares that almost came out right. And he made it rain cupcakes. Then at the big talent show, I was dropping my signature dance moves. When he steps up with some serious prancing and wins first prize. That's not all, it gets much, much worse. Check out this great magic trick that I totally invented. Okay, close your eyes. Keep them closed. Ta-da! While your eyes were closed, I pulled this quarter out from behind your ear. Pretty nice, right? Well, when I get to school to try it out, he's turning stuff into gold. I can't follow that. Dopey unicorn, he thinks he's so great. How can anyone be friends with that guy? Look at me, I'm unicorn. I think I'm so cool, blah, 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 blah. Well, this goat's not buying it. Oh, great, here he comes. What is that heavenly scent? Goat cheese pizza. I'm a goat. What? Goats have cheese? Unicorns don't have cheese. May I try? This cheese is fantastic. So creamy and delicious. It's also good smeared on a tin can or sprinkled on some garbage. Lucky, I can only eat glitter and rainbows. Darn my sensitive stomach. Whoa, what's up with those hooves? Those things are out of control. Oh, these, these bad boys are cloven. It means they're split at the end. They let me stand on steep hills or climb to the tops of mountains. Oh man, I can't stand there or climb hooves. Stupid regular hooves. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just look at your fantastic horn. That thing is nuts. Nah, it's just for show. It's also good for pointing. I can't play soccer. One headbutt and game over. Pain in the neck horn. Not you, though. I bet those awesome horns are perfect for soccer. I have an idea. With your magic and my awesomeness, we'd be an unstoppable team. Taste my cloven justice. You've just been unicorned. Nice, right? Sure. Or we can just go to the park and play. You know something, Unicorn? I had a feeling we'd be friends. <laughs> the end. Oh my goodness, friends. Thank you again for joining me for this Friday Circle Time. I hope to see you all very soon. And until then, continue to stay safe. Make sure you wash your hands. And I hope you have a good time with your family this weekend. All right. Bye.